Hi Aries, this is Betsy Seluna and welcome to your April 2019 reading. Anytime you see this reading will be the right time for you. So Aries, happy birthday. I wish you all the best. Um, I hope that you have fun, which I know you will. And um, I hope that you have ha love, happiness and the good people around you, friends or family members or your significant other. I wish you all the best for the month of April. I do have amazing news for you, Aries. I, when I got into your energy, Aries, I swear to God, it is such a beautiful energy because not only um, it's like, because Mercury right now is in retrograde in Pisces still, right? And we already entered the uh, Aries season, right? And it's like a lot of people want to pull forward, but they are still stuck in this Mercury retrograde in Pisces, this water uh, water energy so for uh this is when i'm um um recording this right so i feel aries just wants to like move forward so quickly like like just like pounce you know uh but um you're still like you're still doing things but you're still like okay stuck in this thing but in april when you see this uh one when, when uh, in april you will be going forward completely so i changed a few things uh out of my videos um i'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do here because I do have a lot of oracle cards. Uh, now, in the last month, um, I had five decks, and uh, Spirit told me that I had to go get uh, two more decks. Uh, not one more deck, sorry. One more deck that I had to uh, take, right? So the thing is, is that, um, you know, it, it when there's like so many decks on the ground, <laughs> I don't have space to put it. So um, I figured that I was going to shuffle them while we're here because I did get some of the clients uh subscribers saying well you know you pre uh, you pre shuffled them yeah because when i pre shuffle them uh the reason why is because it takes a long time for the cards to come out sometimes and i don't want to be like you know doing the cards here but some of you really want to see that so i don't know what to do <laughs> i will um i guess i will i will try it this way and see how it goes okay so i have my singing bowl okay and uh, so you know the procedure right aries uh, you take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out as many times as you can while i'm ringing this this is will um take away any um anything that's heavy on you anything that you feel stressful about or even if you have a headache it's really good for that and it will align your chakras at the same time and take away anything that's negative uh, and clear your space while it clears mine as well okay so let's go for count number one And we'll go for count number two. Nice. Okay. And we'll take some spray. I'll spray Archangel Michael, Raphael. Some for you, some for my table, and for me. Mm, I love the smell. Okay. Right away, when I got into your energy, I have to tell you something right away. I the channeling that uh, this is a new beginning for you in finances. For some of you, new beginning also in love as well. Okay, April is like March and April is like, well, starting right now. Because I am recording this on the Sunday. Uh, so it should be March 24th today. And uh, so what they're showing me is that for the month of April, uh, that there's going to be... Um, New beginnings in finances in the home, okay? Something that's coming in that's stable for you for finances. It's, it's taking time to come in, but it's coming in, okay? Some of you will be coming your own owners, like in your own business. Uh, you, there's like success, okay? And even in love, they show me that, okay? Uh, the sun is shining on this. And uh, also, you're going to have an overwhelming feeling of unconditional love, okay? The divine is coming in to give you unconditional love. And also, the divine is coming in to give you the clarity that you've been wanting for such a long time. And so, there's also clarity for you, okay? Where you're going to see everything so clear in the month of April. Uh, there's a there's an offer that's going to be coming in uh, for an opportunity for you to, like, move higher in, in your finances, like, or... Let's say a, a raise uh, or a promotion or someone that like is in school and is waiting for a loan to come in or uh, something like that is coming in for some of you. There's also a completion that's taking place. I see a completion as well. And a completion talks about, um, it talks about like um, an ending of an era, 
of a difficult era for you, okay, that you've been carrying a lot on your shoulders for a very, very long time. For some of you, it's been 10 years. For some of you, it's been 20 years. But you've been carrying this a lot on your shoulders, and you're going to have freedom from that, and you're going to have new beginnings again in the home, in finances. I also see you selling or buying a home as well, okay? And uh, wherever that, uh, if it, this is like for work, if it is for work, okay, uh, if it's like for a company you're working for or you're going for a higher position, you're going to get higher and higher and higher. Okay, this is what I see. And if it's like for, if it's for love, okay, uh, whoever that you're going to be with, you're going to be working with this person for some of you, uh, working together, I mean, or it's a relationship that's going to grow stronger and very stronger as, as well. Okay, strong and, and strong and you're going to bond and get, you know, that's what I meant, stronger. Okay, so now... Uh, if I look at um, my oracle cards, I'm going to take the challenge cards. Sorry about that. <laughs> Something fell over. So, um, your challenge card for the month of April, Aries, okay? What are your challenge cards? I'm going to see how many they're going to give me, okay? So, let's see if this works. So, what's the challenge card for Aries? Okay, this is your challenge, okay, for the month of April. And you got number 34, which equals number 7. And it's door to personal healing and happiness. So this is what is your challenge, meaning that when you open these doors, this is what you're going to see, okay, rainbow. And this is like really, like I'm, uh, it's really very, um, it's your month, Aries, okay? So this is your month, okay? So this is your challenge is to see this, even though a lot of you are going through still some difficult things are happening because of all the planets and everything's like the Mercury retrograde and Pisces, and then we had the full super full moon and Libra. Okay, the month of April is going to bring you this, okay? So just know that this is coming for you, okay? And then I'm going to take out the theme card. What's your theme card for this reading? So let's see what the theme card is here for you. I'm just going to shuffle. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Always remember to look at your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus, because Venus is the planet of love. And if you don't know how to do that, go on Google, type in free birth chart, and it's going to give you a couple, so many links. I trust astro.com or cafeastrology.com. Or, uh, and uh, then you just put your birthday, your year, when you're born, and it will give you your um, zodiac signs to the planets, okay? And so if in the month of April you see this and it doesn't make sense to you, always come back and watch it at the end of the month uh, for you to see maybe what is going on with you because, you know. So you got your theme is the King of Michael. So someone that's uh, principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So this could be with someone in your life, okay, you're dealing with. This, the King of Michael is, um, if I'm not mistaken, it is an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? Some of you are dealing with that. So right now, let's see what's going on now. Here are the messages for Aries for the month of April. So, um, let's take a card from the art, uh, the Romance Angels. Okay, what are the messages for Aries for April 2019? What are the messages? So, put one here. Then I'm going to take one card from, I'm going to take each card out from each deck, okay? What are the messages? So I'm trying something different now, okay? Uh, you tell me if you like it or not, or do you prefer that I take out the cards beforehand uh, because I did have some complaints and I understand, but this is why I don't want to do this because it takes a lot of time from my channeling. Okay, so what is, uh, this is from Archangel Raphael. Give me one card for Aries, April 2019. What do you want to tell Aries? Because I cannot be rushed when I have to do these cards. And sometimes it takes long. So I'm going to try it this way. Maybe it might be different. I'm still going to lay them down. 
and we'll see them at the end of the reading. Okay, you got two cards, so these two cards came out for you. Then I'm gonna take uh, the angels, uh, no, the light keepers, what is it? The keepers of light, sorry, the keepers of light. Okay, the keepers of light. What are the messages here for Aries? You really love airy energy. I also have Aries in my chart. And, uh, you know, even Chiron um, is in Aries right now, okay, which is healing personal relationships. And a lot of things are coming to the surface. A lot of people are feeling very different energies now. Spirit wants you to, uh, spirit, what, what spirit wants you to do is to stay, um, to stay in your faith and trust in the universe because things are coming for you because you've got completion. It's a great time right now. Okay, so you got three. Oh my God, you got three. Okay, so I'm going to take this one back. No, I'm going to take four. Okay, uh, okay, they told me to take four. So now, um, so it's a great time right now to really do the, the inner work, okay? Do your inner work and uh, all about the self, right? It's all about you, Aries. It's your birthday, year, month, and uh, new year. Uh, it's also a new year as well for you. So just know that. And uh, so you could clean, you have a whole year to uh, have a, a fresh start, okay? I really see a lot of happiness and uh, I see a lot of happiness and celebration for you in the month of um, April. <laughs> okay, one more card, one more card. We'll do it this way for you. Hopefully you're gonna like it, okay? Now, then we're going to take Archangel Michael. Let's not forget Archangel Michael. What are the messages for Archangel Michael? Okay. Uh, for some of you in April, you will, uh, for those of you that are able to get pregnant, you, you just be careful if you don't want to get pregnant because in the month of April, uh, there's a tendency that so some of you will um, have news that you will be pregnant. You know, you haven't been feeling well, well and there's someone that probably went and checked themselves out and that's why because they had no morning, morning sickness. And for others of you that cannot get pregnant, if you've been working on yourself, Aries, whatever that you're working on is going to be very abundant, okay, As successful. Um, you're going to be, also, you are going through, you're going to be a new person as well. Where are the messages? Okay, one and one more. They're asking me one more card. So we'll do one more card. Oh, two of them came out. Okay. And the last one, because these these are for these cards are life purposes for those of you that um, they asked me to take these cards out because uh, for some of you are asking yourselves what is my life purpose here, okay? And uh, it's sometimes very hard, you know, since uh, you, if you don't have an idea, right? So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out. Okay, so one, two. Is there one more card for Aries? One more card. So this is a, your life purpose card. Okay. Now you should ask your all your questions that you have, you should ask them now. And at the end of the reading, we're going to look at these cards together. Okay. There we go. One more. So I'm going to recount. You have Romance Angels. You have, that's card number one. Card number two is Archangel Raphael. Card number three is Keepers of Light. Card number four is Ask Angels. Card number five is Archangel Michael. And card number six is um, oh, <laughs> Life Purposes. So, you choose, I don't have my crystals because my crystals are still outside from the super full moon that we had, okay? And uh, so I don't have any crystals here, but so you could choose by card. You could choose any card you want or any deck you want. And at the end of the reading, we'll go with it together, okay? So I'm going to put them aside for now on the side here and ask your questions now and we'll come and look at them later. Okay, so let's go with your reading. This is for... Aries, my beautiful Aries. Now, last time, a lot of you have emailed me, Aries, and um, in the last uh, couple, this was for um, March video, and 
March and before March, February. I got so many emails from all of you. Thank you so much for emailing me. I really like to hear from you and all the beautiful comments that you left here. Um, that you leave on every month on my channel. I really feel all of you here. You know, it's like an Aries nation power in this, in even in this little short video here. Um, it's amazing how you uh, you all, uh, you know, are together. It's like there's such, there's a thing about you guys that you're always together, you know, in this, and you like, everybody talks to everybody and I like that, you know, and so sometimes I can't answer all the questions right away. So some of you go ahead and answer the questions and it's really nice of you to do that. So what are the messages here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I feel that there's a, for some of you, there, some of you will be getting married in the in month of April or someone's going to ask you for marriage. This is a blessing and a healing that's taking place for you. There's some kind of commitment that's coming in for you. Okay, you're leaving away a, a place where there was a lot of uh, gossip or drama or fighting. Okay, there's a, there's something of you uh, walking away. Uh, leaving a certain era of your life okay and there is a lot of you are getting completion okay and there's going to be light traveling and there is someone that's coming in it's going to be taurus virgo or capricorn that's coming in there's also a, it's, um there's also for some of you there is a um I, I see the wheel of fortune at uh, the wheel the wheel so the wheel talks about like luck on your side as well aries okay uh, and uh, saturn is really there to help you this uh, this the month of april saturn uh, is really helping you at this moment, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Okay, now like last time I was talking about, sorry, because there's so many messages I have to give you, Aries, it's incredible. <laughs> it's like, um, and uh, the music had changed, right? So, um, and there was a song and it was from Biggie Smalls, okay? I know it was from Beagle, Beagle, Biggie Smalls, okay? And I'm not sure what the song was because I tried to go back and like, you know, go in my history to see, and it did not appear in my <laughs> history. So that was the angels. And those so that song for some of you, it was something that, it meant something for some of you out there from Big E Smalls, okay? Divine timing is here for you um, in the month of April. Now, there's a new moon and a full moon. The new moon is, um, I think, April 5th, and the full moon, we're gonna be having another full moon in Libra again uh, that will be like april i think if i'm not mistaken april 20th okay so if any of you want a full moon or a new moon ritual um you, i have one on my website okay so it's uh, the cmc collective 1111.com and it comes with a donation if you like it okay now let's see what else is showing me here for you what are the messages for oh boy <laughs> oh boy Oh, that's nice. Okay, I have to take out those cards. I will place the cards first, and then I will show them to you And as soon as I finish. Now, um, some of you, a lot of you have told me that um, any, uh, what I uh, said last month and the month before in my videos, that everything came true. I got 80% of you that said that. For the 20% that did not come true yet, uh, it means that everybody's on a different soul path, Every, and it's going to come together. Okay, you just have to, uh, there's still self-healing and self-work to do. And just know that the universe has your back. Okay, Aries. Okay, that's not the card. Oh, that card. All right. Wow, what a powerful reading. It's powerful. What a powerful reading for you, Aries. You're having, for some of you, it's love. For some of you, it's going to be finances. Oh, my God. What a beautiful reading. Okay? Beautiful. You're manifested. You've been manifesting very quickly, Aries. You've been manifesting. Okay? And it's all coming together now. It's all coming together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is not a card. Okay, I had to laugh because why? Because you got the, uh, the Emperor card. Okay, so the first week you got the Page of Wands, Judgment, and New Beginnings. There you go. Divine timing is here. 
page of wands the divine timing talks about when uh, the the um, talks about uh when um the angels are behind the scenes closing doors opening doors closing doing everything while you're sleeping eating okay you've been seeing the signs you've been hearing the songs you've been seeing the signs as well um what else have you been there's also like um numerology is very strong okay yeah, i know a lot of you have been seeing the 11 11 2 2 2 1 2 3 12 12 and judgment is coming in okay and judgment for me other people take it as they want for me what the angels are telling me is that this come this is coming in to change your life okay there's something that's coming in to change your life for the better and you're going to be having a new beginning okay because of divine timing this is something that's coming in because it's been it's going to be something that's old to you from all the past that things that did not go right if it was relationships if it was schooling if it was just not even love relationship just family relationship money judgment is coming in to change it for you okay and there will be a new beginning in the first week of april for you in the second week you've got the magician <laughs> Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this is you, I feel, okay? You got the seven of pentacles because right now in the second week, you're going to start reevaluating everything and you got the lover's card. This could be a Gemini as well. It doesn't have to be, okay? It could be any sign. This could be a lover that's coming in as well or this is someone from the divine that's coming in for you. This is a divine partnership, aka twin flame that's coming in for you. In the third week here, there's a decision that will have to be made and you're reevaluating it. In the third week, you got the Knight of pentacles, with the Knight of Cups. So you got Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here, and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And you got, in the last week, the Ace of Swords, the Hangman, and the Ten of Swords. This is an ending and a new beginning where you got enlightened. A lot of you are went through this ascension, and you are ascending, okay? And right now, you are being protected, and you are being guided by the angels, and... Your aura is very well, okay, very nice, your aura, okay, and uh, you're very strong within yourselves, okay, so, and the sun is shining on this, the sun is shining, and they're asking you not to give up, okay, Aries, not to give up, okay, uh, whatever for some of you, if you've been working on a project, okay, let's say online, okay, do not give up, because I know you've been probably give, trying to give up on this project online, and they're asking you not to give up on this project online, because it's going to come together, okay, because the sun is shining on this, so now I'm going to ask, and then the emperor, this is you, Aries, standing in your own throne, whether you're a goddess, where you're a god, okay, uh, you are going to be your own the world on your side okay and you achieved this is awesome so i'm gonna ask some extra questions here for you for the first week because everything out here seems that there's someone coming in to give you love in the third week of april in the third week of april and there's a chance of you that buying a house together coming together buying a house together or there's a new opportunity in finances that's coming in this could be one person or it could be two people that are coming in one for finances okay and uh where uh this is going to be um a time for you where um it's been a long journey but whoever is coming for you if this is capricorn virgo or Ca uh, virgo capricorn or taurus this is someone that's very loyal humble and they're very faithful okay and um you're seeing things very clearly so in the first week you got the wheel of fortune so the wheel is coming in for a lot of you okay so this is second chances for some of you and i'm not talking about second chances on like just a relationship or something like that i'm talking about like really having a second chance in life again okay aries uh, divine timing is here and this means stability this means a rebirth you went through others of you you're going to be lucky in the first for the whole month of april okay i see that you're going to be lucky here okay and this is i feel this some of you are dealing with like uh, with a to, um with a um sorry <laughs> Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, or this is you that's standing in your power, okay? Whether you're a god or a god, a goddess, it doesn't matter. But you're standing in your power. You have so much passion because you've been working on yourself, okay? And um, here you are, self-dependent, dependent, okay? Independent. Um, you know your worth. Uh, you worked hard. Now you're taking a rest. You're just looking over how, you know, how grateful you are. And bingo, here you go. 
you got the world card, okay? So this is a completion that's taking place in the month of April for you. For some of you, the, you probably are feeling it at the end of uh, March into April, okay? But this is a completion of an era for you where it was very difficult, okay? New beginnings are starting and you feel free, you feel light. And some of you will travel, okay? There's traveling, okay? You're having a lot of options here, Aries, a lot of options, going to be the second week the second week magician the seven of pentacles why is it here with the lovers show me some of you are dealing with a sagittarius but some of you this i feel this is you aries that you have been working on yourself you're like an angel you're an earth angel you've been working on yourself you've been healing yourself you've been meditating uh, yoga uh, taking hikes in the mountains um Swimming as also I see and just cultivating a lot of meditation and um, being patient because you knew that that um, you are manifesting very quickly. OK, and I think Jupiter is really helping you uh, very much in the month of April. OK, in Sagittarius as well. But I also feel this is you. I have to give all these messages out. OK. Some of you are feeling left out of a situation. Okay, that's why you're reevaluating maybe your pentacles, I feel, okay? But I but the angels are trying to show you something and uh that there is a way for you to go towards, okay, to, a word towards where it's going to be all your dreams come true, but you have to open your eyes and see the reality of it, okay? And do not be afraid because uh the universe is is large, grand, uh, vast and there's a lot of energy there's a lot of abundance for everybody if you know how to uh, receive it because there is a gift that's going to be coming in for you okay the, uh, the ace of pentacles there's a gift coming in for you uh this is money could be this could be an opportunity but something's coming for you very grand here okay and look at this in the th in the third week for some of you this king of michael this this uh um, Aquarius, uh, Libra, or uh, Gemini person is coming in for you, okay? Uh, this is someone that there's a lot of solutions. They, they're they very objective. They're very, they, they, there's a lot of solutions. They, they have this heart and mind, heart, sorry, mind and heart together where they could come up with solutions. There is some kind of solution here. Again, this could be husband and wife. Okay, this could be husband and wife as well. And uh, so this could be husband and wife. Maybe some of you are deal that are together in a couple. Okay, uh, you have a second chance here. I see a second chance of a husband and wife. Or it doesn't have to be a husband and wife, but could also be long-term uh, people that have been together for a long time or some kind of divine partnership where there is a second chance because judgment is coming in. There's a completion that's taking place. Second chances, divine timing, uh, having patience, manifesting a gift that's coming in for some of you. For others of you, there is someone new that's coming in that will there there is a new beginning with someone new as well here okay for you sorry about that i have family members that are watching a hockey game <laughs> okay there so um in the third week i asked so some of you are dealing also with a leo or a soulmate that's coming in okay you have the strength to go through this um if for those of you that haven't been feeling well you will be feeling better in the month of april 100 percent. okay you're going to be feeling very overwhelmed because the universe is coming in to give you also unconditional love it's like i know you have that already okay aries but it's something that's going to make you feel very overwhelmed because you're going to a lot of your wishes are coming true like i mean the plan is out the planets are all aiming they're all here together the planets the stars whatever you want to call them and they're all coming here together to bring you uh to bring you um everything okay uh for there's a commitment that's coming through this could be with a uh, a leo for some of you for others of you this could be with a taurus virgo or capricorn but there is a commitment that's coming towards you or a cancer scorpio or pisces okay um i see two keys here two pair of keys Two pair of keys. I see two doves as well. The angels are really surrounding you at this time. Okay, Aries. I'm fantastic. I've never seen anything like that. 
like this reading is really like, I don't know what I'm going to call it, okay? Um, dream, they're asking you to dream big. They're asking you to dream big, okay? Um, so something about you dreaming big. And some of you are, are across roads right now. It's like this way or this way. There's new beginnings taking place. Like you will know, some of you are not even going to know which way to go, okay? There's going to be a quick message coming towards you, okay, in the third week of um, of uh, April, okay? And this could be with a, again, uh, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or G Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, but it doesn't have to be. But this is a quick message that's going to be coming towards you. This could be about your finances um, as well. Uh, something that's going to come into balance for you in the third week, okay? And you're going to be moving forward with this. You're going to be more, some of you, it's with a cancer that you're dealing with or a Sagittarius here, okay? You're going to be moving forward with this. And this could be also happening something in the month, time of June 2019 uh, will, will be maybe where um, you're going to be ready about something, something that you're going to be ready about, okay? Something that you are going to be ready and you're going to take your life forward, okay? Because this is going to be quick, quick thinking. You're going to have to be quick on your feet, okay, Aries? Because you have an idea and you run with it. You know that, right? And that's what I love about you guys, okay? You're going to get the tower moment in the last week. And this is beautiful because you've been praying. A lot of you have been praying for change. You've been praying for things to be... You, you've been praying for... Um, you've been praying, praying and praying crying and praying that things are going to change, that you can see things clearly, that you can have the communication that you wanted, uh, ideas and everything, okay? And the tower is the divine coming in, okay? Just to shake things up, but in a good way, in a positive way. It's never done in a bad way, okay? In a positive way where it's it, it's like um, the people that are not supposed to be there, like um, whoever that's not supposed to be there will be taken out. And the people that are have to stay will stay with you okay it's like they're cleaning house cleaning your friends list cleaning family members some of you are dealing with a cancer scorpio or pisces here it's showing me i feel like your emotions will be very good in the last week okay when this tower moment comes in some of you are going to be relocating or moving okay i also see that you are wanting to leave. You're wanting to go on vacation. You're wanting to move forward. You, you, you are, you are, you have to, you need, the only thing you have to do is open your heart, okay, and move forward because it's showing me here. So you're dealing with another Aquarius, uh, not Aquarius, sorry, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and, or Aries, or this is you, okay? You're going to be moving forward. You're like this in the last week of April, moving forward. Because at that time, at that time, <clears throat> Mercury retrograde won't be retrograde. It will be forward. And so you are going to be going forward. Trust your intuition. Okay. You're a high priest or high priestess. Trust your intuition. You have a lot of wisdom. Okay. And believe that these things are happening for you because it's your right time right now. Okay. You're coming into completion. You're coming into second chances. This is beautiful. New beginnings, <clears throat> I see marriage here for some of you. <clears throat> new beginnings in love, okay, falling in love with someone, okay? So there is new beginnings that's taking place. The sun is shining, so you're having money here, uh, a gift that's coming in for you, something that's divinely uh, coming in, okay, to change your life, okay? The wheel of fortune, completion, like these, like, look, look, uh, look at all these, like, you have all positive cards, okay? And for those of you that are feeling left out because you're reevaluating a budget, you're, maybe some of you are feeling that you're not going to have enough while you've been wanting something, you've been wishing for something while it's coming in, okay? You've been watch, want, waiting and waiting and reevaluating and wishing for something while it's coming in for you. Just have faith because Aries, this is your month, okay? It's your month, you know? New beginnings and love. New beginnings and finances. Look, new beginning and love. Marriage, finances, divine timing is here. You got the wheel of fortune. New beginnings, rebirth, and second chances. Luck on your side, completion. Judgment is coming in. 
to help you. You got a new beginning. You got the magician. You got temperance. You've been you've been patient. You've been so patient, Aries. New beginnings and finances. Wishes coming true. Nine of Pentacles. Lovers. AKA Twin Flame. Solutions. You got the Nine of Pentacles. You got strength. You got the Hierophant. You got Dreaming Big. You got the Knight of Cups that's coming in here for you. You got the Chariot. A quick message. In the third week, you're going to have a lot of messages coming through from different people. So be careful. Not be careful. Be aware. Use your intuition because it's very strong. You got the Ace of uh, Swords. You got you be dreaming, uh, not dreaming, praying and praying and dreaming for things to change. It's coming in. Relocating. You're going to be moving forward. You're going to be moving forward. Trust your intuition because it's an ending that's taking place for you. And what you got, damn, look at this. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. <laughs> that word just came out. <laughs> but you got the sun card with emperor. You guys are on fire. You're on fire. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to give you. Hi, Aries. <laughs> Sorry about that. My so this is Sandy. She wanted to be here while we did your reading. She was calling out to me. So uh, she's going to stay with me while I give the reading, <laughs> the rest of the reading. I usually don't do this, but I think today she's in need of extra love and attention. She is a love puppy. So say hi to say hi, Sandy. Want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here we go. Now. You had an amazing reading. Okay, so let's go to your oracle cards. Now, whew, you guys are on fire. I'm heating up here. <laughs> and I went through the reading pretty quickly, but I don't find I did. But it, it felt like, you know, on the ball, right? Okay, Aries, I love you very much. You know that very much. Okay, so now, for those of you that chose... The Romance Angels, and they only told me to take one card, is express your love, okay? And it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? That's, I really did feel that because you have to open that heart chakra of yours and you have to communicate very clearly, okay? And for those of you that chose um, Archangel Raphael, it says, hydration, okay? So this is your card, hydration. Okay, and it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health, energy, and appetite stay optimal levels throughout each day. Uh, let's see, this is the card. And the next card you got is Organic Foods. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic products. For those of you that chose the Keepers of Light, deck number three, you got four cards. Okay, you got Kalima facing fear for some of you. Kalima, look how beautiful she is. And it's um, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. S-O-A-R, soar. Amazing. Then you got Gaia. Gaia. Earth connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth and stay grounded. You will need to stay grounded, I'm telling you, in the month of April. Because you're, it's a, I can't even explain what kind of reading I had for you. Beautiful. Then you got Freya. Phases and cycles. Some of you are connected a lot to the moon, the full moon. And uh, for crows and ravens, that some of you are, that's your animal totem. As the crow is my animal totem, so I really love this card. It's so beautiful, isn't it? And uh, a lot of healing has taken place here. And this, there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released during the full moon. And then you got Kuth, Ku, Kut, Kuthumi, I think, Kuthumi. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Kuthumi is Cloak of Wisdom. And it says, you already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. 
okay? Trust your intuition. For those of you that um, asked the Ask Angels, okay, number four, you got within the next few months, within the next few months, I really feel June is a very powerful month for you, June or July. And you got Don't Stop, Don't Stop, and you got Reconsider. I feel that this is my Archangel Michael again, like over here, you know, that's what I feel. Reconsider, there's something that you need to reconsider. Archangel Michael is saying to you, ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation, okay? I said, and your prayer is, Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with whatever that your issue is or the situation, and please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. So you, if you need Michael to step in for you, all you have to do is ask him, and he will. And uh, Archangel Michael saying, your inner guidance in, is uh, real and trustworthy. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. And your prayer is, please help me clearly hear, see, and feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. And he's saying that this situation is already resolved. Okay. Uh, your prayer is, I give my worries, cares, and concerns to you in exchange for true peace at all times. Thank you for resolving this. And you give your details of your situation in divinely perfect way. Beautiful. Thank you, Archangel Michael. And the last but not least card you got is uh, Life Lessons. So some of you are teachers here. You inspire some of you are teach your te you teach young children. Some of you are teachers at a school, elementary school, or something that has to do with children. You inspire young people to learn. Some of you are teachers. Maybe that's your life purpose to teach. Uh, light and love, light and love. <laughs> your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. And amen to that. And they're saying it's not time to decide. It's time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. Okay, this is your card. Well, thank you for all being here, Aries. Make sure you like, share, and you comment. Okay, happy birthday to all of you. I wish you all the best. Okay, and, um, and I'll see you in the month of May. No, I love you. Bye.